Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to the deep dark woods of Skyland to complete our bedroom for our fishing cabin. We're going to build one super awesome and fancy bed with a couch and an intricate carpet. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Skyland. I had to head over here to get some additional wool for our bed and our uh, carpets and things of that nature, but I thought I'd take an opportunity to update you guys on the tree farm, or not tree farm, <laughs> the terraforming project, because we were over in this area. So let's head on over here and just take a quick look at some of the progress that we've accomplished over here. So we got kind of a few little river beds in area so I decided because it was a little flat to start adding a little bit of extra um, kind of you know height and changes and things like that so we got some additional rock and so I wanted to just kind of dig down and dig up a little bit just to add some different uh, different design here so we got a nice river bed and I really like kind of uh, tilling the ground around the uh, kind of the ponds and lakes to kind of create a nicer little riverbed transition. So we got that and we have some just lots of rock and extra types of plants and trees along here. And this is my favorite over here. I really like this area. So this area's got a nice little pond with tilled and lots of rocks and gravel and things like that. And um, let's just fly on over here. And then you get a really nice little kind of rock slide coming off the top here, rolling all the way down to the, uh, the ocean down there. And I think that looks really nice. And of course, this all leads into our future roller coaster project, which will graze the land over here. But unfortunately, it's still on hold till Mojang gets their uh, snapshots going again and we can kind of figure out what they're going to do with the minecar system. So, you know, they changed it a little bit where they've added speed, but they've added derailing. So we've got a really cool addition of speed, but dealing with the derailment is gonna be a problem. So I wanna kind of see what they're going to do and kind of how they're gonna fine tune this before the project gets started. So let's head on over to the Skyland Fishing Cabin and get today's project underway. All right, we're back now, and if you guys haven't seen the last episode we had worked on, we built the art studio up here, and it is probably one of my favorite episodes that I've ever done on Scarland, and it came out just awesome. So we have a nice little seating area with some of my own paintings along here, and we have our easel set up here, and a subscriber mentioned to put kind of a red red torch in there, and it'll act kind of as a paintbrush. I love that. Added some redstone to the floor. A subscriber mentioned that on Facebook. And um, add an additional one of my paintings over there. And yeah, I absolutely love this room. And thanks for all the amazing comments on that last video. That was, I don't know, I just felt that was a really special video. And I think it came out really nice. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. But we are going to get straight into it here. And this is going to be our bedroom. So this is going to be our bedroom right here. It's going to be super duper awesome. And as you can see, I started to work on this side of the room to kind of give you guys a kind of an idea of how it's all going to kind of come together a little bit. So we'll finish that right now. And we are nearing 100,000 subscribers. And I just, oh, I, I couldn't even fathom that amount around 10,000. And now at 100,000, I just thank you guys so much for all the support and the nice comments and everything you guys have done through the time. It's just an honor to make videos for you guys. And I thank you so much for all the support you do uh, give me. And I just can't thank you guys enough for it all. And um, for this momentous occasion of 100,000 subscribers, what should we do for the celebration? Now, I have a few ideas. And I have one in particular that I think could be really special if I can get it to go. But I wanted to hear what you guys have in mind. What... What do you have in store that you think would be a super awesome video? So you're thinking, hmm, I think Scar could do this and it would be super awesome. So definitely let me know. So everybody watch the video, leave a nice comment here and tell me what you think would make a really special video for our reach. Oh, 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 we have a breach. We have a breach. Uh, so let me know what you think would be a really super awesome, fun thing to do for 100,000 subscribers. There we go. So I want to hear you guys' opinions because I'm sure you guys will come up with some super awesome ideas. And if anything, you could at least come up with something funny, you know, something, you know, might not be realistic, but it would definitely be funny. I would appreciate that. I would very much appreciate that. I enjoy a good laugh. All right. So we can put that on there. Not like that because that's a mistake. And we'll put it like that. So we're just adding our dark chocolate slabs up here 
incorporating them into the milk chocolate to make one super awesome milkshake. There we go, perfect, got that done. So that looks pretty good. So that's kind of a nice uh, ceiling and floor starting point for our room. So now we're going to replace that and then we're going to run this. I think we're gonna run this one, two, three here. And then we're gonna go boom. So we're starting to build the bed now. So getting that done here. So as I'm working here, I'm just kind of thinking of ideas too. And uh, you know, I don't know, I have a lot of ideas. I don't know if any of them, some of them will even uh, work, but I think they would be pretty cool. And I just wanna do something special for you guys. You know, you guys show me so much support and it just means a ton on, and we don't have enough white carpet. So that's kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna supplement it with a little bit of this. And now bear with me, I know that looks a little odd, but we, um, we'll, we'll work through it. I'll get some more eventually. I guess I didn't shear enough sheep. Or the sheep were stingy. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna say that I actually did it proper, but the sheep were stingy in their amount of wool they gave out. There we go. So we're just adding the blanket on our bed. And now we're going to remove that. We're going to add our snow. And we're going to go two up on that. There we go. And then let's see. Now I'm going to go like this. And for there, we're just going to put a nice centerpiece like so. I like that. That's nice. And then up here, I'm just going to run a nice little headboard up there. Nice. I like that. All right. So give me one second here. Let me catch my breath. And I'll get some more white carpet. And I'll... Oh, be right back. All right, I think I've got everything I need. I've been going back and forth. I've been using this box in here. And um, let's see, we need these guys now. So I think that's pretty good. We can get rid of you. We can get rid of you. I don't need that. Um, yeah, and I think we're done with you. So I think that's pretty good for now. So let's head up here. All right, so here's our bed. And I added this additional kind of uh, stair on the side. It kind of acts as a little end table to our bed. We can put a pot on there. So I was thinking we could put our pots there so we can maybe put something like that there. I think that would look really nice. There we go. So that looks good now. So let's get out our dark gray or just standard gray carpet here. I'm just going to run this along the sides. Start to remove that. There we go. There we go. Nice. I think that looks pretty good so far. So we'll remove our lights and then we'll add some glowstone to our carpet now. So let's say we're going to put one here. So let's get our glowstone out. There we go, put that there, and put that there, and I think we could do something maybe right here. There we go, I think that's probably a good amount of light for this area, we can always stick some more in and around there. Um, let's see here, so now let's get out our light carpet, and we'll just run this along here. Avoid having our flying saucer carpets, there we go, and fill that in like so, good. Perfect. And then we'll take our gray once again and then just run that on the top, trying to avoid flying carpets. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's a flying carpet. Nice. And I'll remove, I think I'll remove this so it's even with that over there. Good. I like that. That's that's really good so far. Good. Okay. Um, next, we're going to take out our spruce leaves and then we're going to go like that. Like that. I should have put these down first, but I don't think of those things ahead of time. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, so now this is kind of our portraits. So these are, whoop, nope. So these are just kind of our, kind of like, this is what I like to do at least in my room because this is kind of reflect, this house is a reflection of, of me. And so I like to put all of my kind of portraits on the wall like that. I'll probably rearrange them a little bit before the, the uh, video is over, but I want to continue on so I don't uh, linger too long on pointless things like that. Okay, and next we're going to go in here and I'll remove this once again because I didn't have the foresight to not put that down first. And we're going to make just a nice little couch. And I'll remove that once again because I didn't think of things ahead of time. There we go. And let's take that out. We don't need that. And we'll replace that with this. And that's going to be a problem because I didn't think of that either. <laughs> Oh, you know, as you build along, you know, you kind of a plan a little bit in your head, but, um, you know, you some things you just don't think of, like, you know, like this, like that's not going to match. So I'm going to go like that. So it will, whoop, no, 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 put this there. There we go. We're so smart, aren't we? We're, we're super smart. Well, you guys are. I am apparently not today or yesterday or the day before or ever. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of like a couch. There we go. I like that. That looks really nice. And let's see. Let's do something like this on the back. 
There we go. Got a nice little plant back there. There we go. He looks like he's a little lonely. He's a little lonely tree. He needs something around him to make him feel at home. All right, there we go. I like that so far. And let's see, let's put down something like this. And hey, look, I didn't think of taking that out first or not putting it down. <laughs> oh, it just kind of creates a nice little room divider. I like that. I like that. Um, let's see, let's do something like that. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. And let's do maybe another portrait right here. But the question is, will we get the portrait we want? It's like, it's like a, you know, you're at Las Vegas, you're, you're pulling the slot machines, looking for the portrait you want, and hoping your portraits don't get stolen from you from the casino, which takes your money, and it's all gone now. All my portraits are gone. I don't have any more left, and that's really sad. <laughs> all right, so give me one more second here. Let me look at the finishing touches of the room and see if I can steal back my portraits. All right, and welcome back. So we're just making a little bit of... Uh, panes here so let's finish that off get as many as we can out of there perfect and then um let's see here is this how you make panes yeah i remember there we go perfect okay so what we're doing here is we're gonna make a little door and i want you to see if you guys like this or not so we're gonna put this along here and then we're just gonna make like a little door on that side and a little door right there and i want you guys to tell me if that is something that is good addition or a not so great addition so i think that looks kind of cool we might change the top up there a little bit but um, we could do the same over there and i think that would be pretty cool so definitely let me know what you guys think of that if that's something that we should keep for our fishing cabin or not but i kind of like how that door kind of swings open there a little bit and um, yeah so let's head on inside and take a look at our room i think it came out pretty darn awesome we have a nice little sitting area over here with a very lonely little tree and uh, we've got a nice little divider of plants along there then we have some of our paintings that we've painted over in our art studio across the way there and we have a nice intricate floor going in and out through here i think that looks pretty cool and just a really awesome bed a really comfy bed jump up here and look out at your amazing lake outside of your fishing cabin that is pretty darn awesome and well guys this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and if you believe the video deserved a rating that would be much appreciated and until next time and there are all my portraits there they all are all floating around we'll see you later paint and do things like that so we're building our painting easel here i think this is truly one of the greatest painting easels ever created look at this thing this thing's excellent so we're gonna have our stretch canvas here we can have a nice bulletin board for references and things right there when we get to it we'll do our painting uh, palette right there oh it's amazing um so 